baby. Mm. Baby, I eat the shit from my out. Dedicated to all the pretty girls. Pretty girls. Oh, pretty girls. Pretty girls. Pretty girls. Oh. Hey, what the fuck is up? This Dirk McGirt, what's going down? I'm just dirt dog trying to make some money. So give me my streaks and give me my honey. The money, the money made me go solo. You know what I'm saying? You know, I just wanted more money and I wanted people to hear my music. You know, where, where I come from, my dialogue. You know, what is really what old dirty bastard is about. Not really what Wu-Tang is about. What really kicks old dirty's ass in hip hop. Well, I like being in the group more because it's not too much work for me. You know, it's not too much work. It's just me being me and I can just, you know, slip in, slip out when I can. You know what I mean? Rick James, famous man. One of the most sexiest mans on earth. Ain't no faggot neither. You can call me dirty and then lift up your skirt. The favorite part of a woman is when her feet walk across the floor without a smell, but with a smell that you can smell your own smell and you know that feet stink it got a aroma to it and you calculate in how her ass moves from side to side with that aroma and you know that it's aroma in that ass too but you can lick that asshole and you won't get no aroma but you know that the aroma exists and then you can kiss her neck and suck this and suck that and lick that and lick that. And you can, you can actually feel, you can feel the prophecy of a woman being sexy called a sex object and a sex tool and a, a fine, scandalous, romantic, most movable object that a motherfucker couldn't even get if he didn't have a motherfucking woman. I'm into all asshole. I like it because it's tinier than the pussy hole. You know, it's so tiny. It's like tiny as a clitoris. So when I when I look at get the feeling of licking a York peppermint patty, mm. it just it's it's a sensation. That's my tongue going up the air for me. Do my breath stay? Every day, every day, like my probably three times a day, I jerk my dick off so much that the prisoners was actually saying, yo, dirty, chill the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? Because I couldn't help it. Every bitch I saw on TV, her ass looked as funny to me. And I just kept jerking my dick off every day, every fucking, every day, every night. No dirty bastard, Brooklyn, so Let me just introduce the team, the team, yeah. The team is called Brooklyn Zoo. So That's our DJ, DJ Too Evil. Yeah, hey, what's poppin'? This is Big Case, aka DJ Too Evil. Brooklyn Zoo, Punisher Clan, New York City, Brooklyn, stand up, you know how we do. You got life for long. Yeah. Yo, what's up, America? What's up, planet Earth? This is Big Life, the laser blade right here coming at you. Representing the Brooklyn Zoo, Dirt McGirt. You know what I mean? Buddha Monk, we here. We represent. We put it down. This is how it's going down for the new millennium and the old millennium and the next millennium. This is how we doing it. And I'm Buddha Monk. we are looking at the captain of the team, Buddha Monk. You know what I'm saying? Producer, writer, you know, artist. You know, anything that you think you can never think of of me, the person behind the scenes, you know what I'm saying, just trying to help to keep it together, that'd be me, Buddha Monk. This is Brooklyn Zoo.
Hey, I'm Jared Weisfeld. I manage Old Dirty Bastard. Dirty won't be having it in this house, cause big down from your style. Rizza. He used to make me rhyme. I used to fight me to rhyme. Cause I ain't rhyme, he'll fight me. Ugh. That's one thing. It just uh, organized my style. Because I, I listened to the Jizza and he organized my style. And then I took the Beatles and the Marvin Gaye's and the Teddy, um, the Teddy Pendergrasses and the Temptations and all that put together. And I just made it one thing, man. And it just, it worked, man. It was called singing rapping. And nobody was doing it. So it made it a different style, you know. It made it a, it made it a, a hip hop style that was untouchable. Boy, you know you took me barbarous. Leave me alone like a fucking son be barbarous. I got the Asiatic flow mixed with disco. Roll up on the scene like the counter money. Let's go, MC. Start the vanish. Roll up on the jet black kid. He started speaking fucking Spanish. So he wasn't from Panama. That's the nigga how he get so dark. That gun Panama. He responded so fast he made me laugh. Ha 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 ha. Scared his ass. Same with you, with you stepped up to the old dirty bastard, Brooklyn, so. Unexpected. Energy. Interesting? In the word? Interesting. Yeah. What? Fun, interesting, um, don't know what to expect. Say that again? It's like, you never know what's gonna happen next. Every day is a, a new adventure with me and Dirk. Yeah. The excitement of it is like, like, damn, I'm dealing with one of the greatest entertainers of all times. Yeah. Wu-Tang was a mind control thing. It was something that the government knew that was going to be the hottest shit on earth. And it was formulated through through, like I said, through the mind, man. And um, I just happened to be the wildest electricity in the Wu-Tang. It just got wilder and wilder, man. It, it was like Wild Man Steve, man. And it was something that, that was uncontrollable forces, man. And, you know, it was many of us, man. And we just came together as one, as a as a G-force, as a Voltron, as a unified force, and we made it happen as a Wu Tang clan. Cause we watch kung fu movies, and we thought of the greatest thing to come together, the greatest story to come to with, and it was called Wu Tang Clan. We all grew up together. We all knew each other since we was at least 17, 16 years old. We wasn't even rhyming then, you know what I'm saying? We just started rhyming. And we just put it together and we all just started singing. Wu-Tang is the, the power source of music. Wu-Tang is the, the mothership of hip hop. You understand what I'm saying? Wu-Tang is, you know, one that happened to be one of the greatest hip hop bands on earth. My producer slam, was like, bam, jump on stage and then I did that. Right now, shit. Trying to finish up this joint with him and Ludacris, you know what I mean? You know, some of the vocals, they were alright and shit. You know what I'm saying? That was when he was in his alright times when he first came home. So now we trying to get him in a whole new mode and Ready, get the right vocals and shit like this. Here, here we go, buddy. She used to tell me how much she loved me and how much she needs me. How she can wait to get home and rub me and hug me and squeeze me. Good, good. Yeah. Give me another track now. Yeah. Okay. I gotta admit, I was born and rotten. Yo, 
I gotta admit, I gotta admit, I was spoiled and rotten. I gotta admit, I was spoiled, you rotten, dirty. I gotta admit, I was spoiled, you rotten, dirty, down to the floor. I want that action shit. I gotta admit. Come on, man, I need that, that dirt McGurk. That, they admit. looking for McGurk. They ain't looking for 50, nigga. What now? I gotta admit. I gotta admit. There you go. There you go. That's what I want, son. That's it right there. But never that, I got back on track and I had to pull it together because you're not wrong. Yeah, nigga. Same part. That's beautiful. Beautiful. I only hit it one time. Now I'm hard as every day. And she says I'm beating on her nerves of some more school words and factuated. Why won't you do that? I don't want the two curves. I said, bitch, I'm dirt for dirt. Fresh out and back on the scene. And don't you ever. Right, right. Now, nah, do it again. You, it's like that, but you did it wrong. You went too soon. Come on. Come on. I only hit it one time. Now I call her every day. And she said I'm beating on her nerves. Cause I'm known for words and factuated. I hope you did. And her wonderful curve. I said, bitch, I'm dirt for dirt. Back out and back on the team. And don't you ever in your life turn your back on the game. I got something wrong. I don't got my cool. The energy that you got right now is after you did that swerve, it's, it's straightening out. And it needs to be like, you got to be more aggressive. It seems like you're getting calm a little bit right there. And I don't want it to get calm. I want it to stay on the same level. And don't you ever in your life, and yeah. don't you ever in your life turn your back on the king. <laughs> All right. I said, bitch, I'm good for good. Back out and back on the team. Man, don't you ever in your life turn your back on the team. I got something to prove. I don't got my groove back and all in the news. But Papa got a brand new wing bag and some blue white shoes. Fifty thousand on my neck and a million dollar look in my eyes. And then she thought it by the clock and said, I'm going to need it again. And I've been waiting for this moment since I got out of the bed. I fell out. Hey, listen. I like this is now in on my neck and a million dollar look in my eye. And then she told it by the twice and said I can hit it again. And I've been waiting for this moment since I got out the pen. I tell her, out your clothes, baby. All right, man. That's too much energy, folks. Yo, man. Give me more energy, man. Come on, man. Yeah, God, cause yo, yo, they gotta match the fucking verse. They gotta match the verse, God. One more time. Let him come out here and listen. For himself. You be the judge and jury. Everybody agrees. Let me ask you. Let me hear it. Let me hear it. Let me hear it. For real. Sure. You gotta turn the phone off? Yeah, hold on. The phone's always on. Yeah, who's this? Who's the easiest call? Usually, what's up? Usually, my right, <laughs> 50 a day. Yeah. In the middle of cutting the vocal, talking on the phone. I'm like, what happened to the vocal? Like, yeah, 15, 20 and shit, alright? You give me your number, I'll call you up. You act like you're pussy on Instagram. Hello? Hello? Mm -hmm. All right, cause every night when I got to the crib was hurting that ass. She used to tell me yeah. how much she loved. Yeah, what's up, man? What's the deal? Yeah. I'm dirt for dirt. Yeah, peace. Sunday. Cream. I got to the crib was dirt. Yeah. Oh baby, I like it bro. Yeah, baby, I like it bro. The Beatles, the Rolling Stones, ACDC, 
old rock and roll. Well, that ain't the only thing I listen to. I listen to Gladys Knight and the Pips, Marvin Gaye, Teddy Pendergrass, and all of that influenced me. I started listening Hill to Sugar Hill Gang and shit like um, Spoonie G and Cool Mo D and and LL Cool J. Really, LL Cool J influenced me and Run DMC. They made me want to talk like that. And then I just started getting into that world, man. Bopping my motherfucking head and loving that hip hop. The shit was just, it was just off the wall. It was ridiculous and I just couldn't help it. And I just started going crazy and putting that Marvin Gaye to it and that Beatles to it. And love, love me do. You know I love you. I'll always be true. So please love me do. Oh, love me do. And I just put that motherfucker with it, man. And that motherfucker turned out hot as a motherfucking welding machine. Man. Oh. No, you know my name down. Give me my money. Hey, hey, hey. Sing it. Old dirty bastard. The well, Dirty Bastard was something that was created from God. God created Old Dirty Bastard's walk, his talk, his movement, his step, his feet, his everything. His smell, his breath of life, his heartbeat. God did it. You know what I'm saying? Big Baby Jesus. Sweet Baby Jesus come from... Somebody gave me that name, and I just took it and kept it going. Dirt McGirt. Dirt McGirt. I don't really know what that's about yet. I'll find out soon. Osiris. Because... Depending on the day, it could be any matter of names. I say that's true. First one, I just went off top of my head. You know? It was something like it was put together in a way where I couldn't, I had, I, I just obeyed that, that order of how to do it. When Wu-Tang did solo projects, we did it in the same basement. We did it together. You understand what I'm saying? When I was in that room, Method Man was in the other room. And Method Man was listening out to this old Dirty Bastard music. And then when Method Man was in that room, and I was in the other room, I was listening out to Method Man music. And when we wanted to put something together, we just do it, you know. See, we get high, you know what I'm saying? We all hippies, we all, we get high, and we just do what the fuck fuck we want to do. We don't care who listening and who not listening. I'm the ODB as you can see. FBI don't you be watching me. I think Bush is my worst nightmare. I think Bush got a personal beef with the old dirty bastard in this world. I think Bush is the most insanest motherfucker that ever motherfucking lived. I like Bush. Bush is a straight gangster, son. And white people didn't forgot that George Bush, he just stole the presidency. That's why I like the nigga, because he a thief. He keeping in line of what the United States is about. Steal your way to the motherfucking top. Ain't nothing wrong with that shit. I believe in that shit all day. <clears throat> yeah, we have that in common. As long as you back up the fuck up off of me, man, we'll be all right, man. You know what I'm saying? All George Bush need to do is get his dick sucked. He won't be after me no more. That's right. Well, of course the government has it out for him because, see, I'm a man-made product. You understand what I'm saying? I'm made. So you made me. You understand what I'm saying? Hell yeah. So it's like when you made me, you got your, your government here. You got your, your government. So y'all, it's a, it's a world of uh, one thing. 
And I happen to be another thing that's governed too. You know what I'm saying? And I guess now it's my time. You understand what I mean? It's it's time for me to move on. It's not it's it's time for old dirty bastard to not exist no more. It's time for a new old dirty bastard. The, you know, a baby old dirty bastard. You know, not called old dirty bastard as that baby, but you will call him old dirty bastard. And that's just how it is. I can't explain nothing but tell you the government is out to assassinate me and get it over with. That's it, period. And like we fans of George Bush, so we don't know why George. Yo, George, you know why, why the motherfucker? Why you tripping, George? Why the fuck you tripping, George? George, we got love for you, nigga. A nigga, please. You can never fuck with the dog. A nigga, please. Nigga, please. Was more laid back than my first album. Nigga, please. My first album, I didn't read off the paper. The second album, I read off the paper. You know, I keep it real to you so you know what time it is. As much as I can. I read it off the paper. And it was different. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't the same tone, the same melodies, the same notes. You know what I mean? As far as my vocal cords go. But I did the best as I can. So I glanced at the girl, girl glanced at me. I went but in the air, you wanna be with me? Hey bitch, come here girl. Sweet thing you, you got a nice ass, don't you girl? That's what's wrong with you girl. You too pretty for me. You too cute, ain't you? Hey, you sure we can't go dancing? Go ahead girl. I love you girl. You a little cutie pie. I just be myself, man. My name Old Dirty Bastard, you know who I am? Hello, ladies. You know, it makes me wonder how, you know, how sensational your titties look. See, pretty girls like you only come a dime a dozen, baby. When I say a dime a dozen, motherfuckers don't know who you are. I know who you are. He's a Moses super cat, superstar. When, when the, the world seems, seems right, and, and when you're all alone, and you don't know, you know what, 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 what to do. Listen, let me get your number. Please? You don't want to write my number down? You can't write my number down? Let's be friends then, okay? I'll take you to my video, show you how I do my movies. Okay? The aroma, the robust that comes from your asshole when you walk. <laughs> I can't take that no more. Stop annoying me, yeah, I play my music loud. I take the bats and old dirty to move the crowd. The new record is formulated off of paper, but it's old dirty when he slacks a little, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes when you slack, it can make it more better because old dirty is wild. The dirty too wild, he's, he's insane. So when I slacked a little, it made it mellow, you know what I mean? It made it more music that people can dance to. They can move and shake their ass to. You understand what I'm saying? I work with Neptune. I work with Rockwaller. I work with the RZA, Wu-Tang, and a few other um, artists. I just don't know their names offhand. I, you know, I can't really remember too much of this shit. My producer slam, I was like, bam, jump on stage and then I bend down. Right. I think like, I like the other dance a lot, a lot. Yeah. But, like, this is a jump off. Alright, alright, so we'll work with whatever you want to do with shit. We'll work with this on her. Alright. Uh, 
Watching me, so so I do what I can do behind closed doors and get down for the funky sound. You can play it in the club like this all night. Bitches, put your ass out, let me hold it tight. That's an experience right there. Yeah, performing with Dirty, that's like going back to George Clinton and the Funkadelic Parliament days. You know what I'm saying you never know what's gonna go down. He might come down out the ceiling, come up out the floor. That's nothing. You know what I mean? Basically, it's all going to be a surprise. We, we never know at any given moment what's going to go down. That's what makes it beautiful. Because old Dirty is wild. The Dirty too wild. He's, he's insane. Like, you just don't know what's going to happen. It's just crazy. The, en- the energy, the level of his energy and our energies together is, like, remarkable. I mean, it's like you can't... It's like you got Bonnie and Clyde, you know what I'm saying? You got other people that done did things together, you know, Batman and Robin. Now you got Old Dirty Bastard, Brutal Monk, in the Brooklyn Zoo. Yeah. The minute I step on the stage, you got the whole energy of the whole house just coming out of nowhere. Hits you one good time, and it's like a high, you know? Then Dirty step on the stage, and it's like that high gets turned up, like, ten. And you can feel the whole room, the whole place, ah, you know? Yeah, motherfuckers. Y'all know how we do. We party, we bullshit. We party, we bullshit. And that's how we do, my nigga. Yeah, baby, I like you. Oh like too much but I got some feelings I like Fab 50 Cent Mary J Blige Alicia Keys Beyonce Jay-Z Kanye West M.O.P. The Neptune Dr. Dre Snoop Dogg Bone Crusher I love them all man you know what I'm saying 
They got some shit. I got some shit. You know, it's just music. You know what I mean? You got they music and you got my music. And I just want you to listen to my music. You know, before Jesus Christ, before anything happens to my music. And that's it. The streets, the girls, the bitches, the hoes, the pushers, the dope slingers, the crackheads, the cocaine users. I just take the roughness out the streets and formulate it into a pencil and a piece of paper and start writing and that's, it start flowing like energy and it just, it's there like that. See the afro nigga? And that just crept up to Batman, I play the Riddler. Try to do me for a rhyme, I change to Hitler. Go out like a Nazi. You with some fucking ass, stay fucking home and play Yahtzee. Or watching Happy's Day, sweating posse. And Ralph, and Richie Gunningham, Tony and Chachi. Woo, woo, me getting red to him through. That's like a ten and a half foot. Getting in a seven suit. Get your rat with on the no truck. I'm your ass doing some might be what shit like John Travolta. So I'm walking over with my crystal. Bitches, niggas put away your I think when hip hop started, the people wouldn't take a take into it because the children took a take into it. The parents had to listen to the children because the children has a, they have a voice, you understand? And the parents had to listen to that voice. They had to they had to accept their children's report cards as it was. They could, they, they could change it, but the children is just too wild. They love to hear this music. So they had to accept it, you know what I'm saying? This is how it became a culture. I don't have no trouble with you fucking me, but I have a little problem with you not fucking me. Ladies don't love shit. Ladies just act like they love. You understand what I'm saying? It's an act when it comes to old dirty bastard. They act like they love old dirty. Ladies don't love old dirty bastard because old dirty bastard busy loving them. I love you, girl. They might like old dirty bastard. You know what I'm saying? They may listen to his music or something, but really they don't pay it no mind. They they pay nothing no mind. Nothing nothing is paid the mind to really on this earth. It's just. Living and dying, the world is a big ball of fire, and it's just burning with no feeling. Man, I want to fuck that bitch Michelle, by the way. I want that Julio fucked up. I know she got some good white pussy, man. Mm, 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 mm. They pussy stink. That's what I love about women. Don't worry about your pussy being stinking, girl. Because I like it stinking like that. You see, when it's stinking like that, I can dig you where you coming from, stinky poo. I got dirty panties for your little poo poo girl, your little coo coo -kee. You do got some girls that coochie don't stink, so I, you know, I like that too. 40 MC and any 52 states, I get psycho, killer, Norman Bates. When Dirty's home, Dirty's, um, Dirty's just being himself. Dirty either partying or Dirty relaxing, that's all. We're just going to go watch a movie, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, just watch whatever, whatever's clever. Dirty like to go and have some clams and some lobster and some sh cocktail shrimp. I jerk my dick off, man, every day, man. Dirty like to go to the club, you know, and sit there and ballet and party. Tired as a motherfucker. I was up all night last night watching movies, man. Now that you heard my common voice, you couldn't get another nigga. The coochie won't get moist. Go pay for a motherfucking hoe. Hotel, motel, holiday in. Say, if that bitch start acting up, then you pay her friends. 
And we're not here to talk too long to you. We just saying the best part of life is fucking. So we're going to fuck and we're going to keep fucking. It's just a feel good type of thing. Radios play this all day, every day. Recognize I'm a fool and you love me. Don't you know that's something that's called a masterpiece? Don't you know is the masterpiece that was created? That's one of my masterpieces that I would say is my best song that was ever made. Don't you know it's like a Bruce Springsteen? It's like a. It's like a Sam and Dave. It's like a. It's more like a a, a group. A group, a, a white band and a black band put together. That song right there and Operator are the two hottest songs that was ever made from Old Dirty Bastard. My producer, so am I, was like, Bam! I love working with the Neptunes. They my best, they my favorite. The Neptunes got something special. They they more different, they more uh musical. The Neptunes is, is something, they hard, you know what I'm saying? They funky, they out of this world to me. They they jazzy, you know what I'm saying? They, 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 the horn smells stink. So, you know, that's what it is, man. If you want to look good and not be bummy, yo, you better give me that money. Go, 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 go buy it. Oh, it's flavor for you, you know what I'm saying? Right now we're at a fashion yeah, meeting for Dirt McGurk clothes and, and Dirty is uh, just going through the design, seeing what he likes, what he doesn't. Because you know, he wants to be hands on. Old Dirty Businessman now, baby. Old Dirty Businessman. You got a mirror on shit? Okay. Here you go. Alright. Dirty is just different, period. Like no other human being that you will ever meet times 10. Nah, Dirty is fucked up at times. Excuse me? There's hip hop and there's rap. Dirty is rap. The beginning, the essence, the raw energy, true to life, heart, everything. But at the same time, he is hip hop. So basically, Dirty is the game. He's a funny, funny, funny dude. That's misunderstood. <laughs> dirty is sometimes the most loving person in the world. You know I love you. I would describe Dirty as real. 100% uncut, raw. If you don't like it, leave him alone. Bottom line. Yes. You'll never meet anybody as kind and as warm as him. And you'll never meet anybody that's just so out there, but yet so there. It's ridiculous. Everybody want to be like somebody. Dirty's been dirty ever since. You know, you can't say dirty, you can't say dirty is like anybody else. You can't say dirty does this, or he sounds like this, or he trying to act like this. Nah, he's like dirty's dirty. And that's all to it. Um, dirty definitely is one of the illest artists that I've ever met in my whole entire life, and I don't think that nobody can ever father his style. Amen. This is Dirt McGirt, and you watching my motherfucking DVD, motherfucker. Ooh, baby, I like it, bro. Yeah, baby, I like it, bro. Ooh, baby, I like it, bro. Yeah, baby, I like it, bro. Ooh, baby, I like it, bro. Yeah, baby, I like it, bro. Ooh, baby, I like it, bro. Yeah, baby, I like it, bro. How's it got that seems in the feeling that it's made in all? Well, the most can be still hard to root. Well, we're all excited. Well, that's my point. Well, you know me. And that's it. Here from the home of the dog, the Brooklyn Squad. Who changed the hubbies on the swamp?